after a 13-year-old boy accused the superstar of molesting him. But tonight, he's passionately up the ante with a bizarre insight into this most bizarre of cases. Like, for instance, this uncanny picture that Jackson had an artist paint. To show you uh, the eccentricity of this uh, man, Michael Jackson, is he has commissioned an artist to paint a picture of him with him in the center, showing uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, George Washington, Mona Lisa, uh, E.T., Albert Einstein, and I thought he was trying to project an image that he is in the same league as these guys in the picture. But for the man-child who was accused of being the Pied Piper of perversion, Quindoy says the picture gets even more bizarre. Uh, everyone in the world knows that, that uh, Elizabeth Taylor uh, proclaimed Michael Jackson as the king of, uh, of uh, pop. I think he's the king of hype, he said, because he bought himself a, a king's crown, you know, with jewels and rubies, and uh, I think it's worth like $280,000, uh, $300,000. It, it sits in the center of his memorabilia room. And I know uh, the memorabilia room because I built it myself for Michael Jackson. I put all his tour jackets there, his tour jewelry, and in the center is the crown. But Quindoy is suspicious about the publicized friendship between Michael Jackson and Elizabeth Taylor, who stayed at Neverland after one of her bouts in hospitals. I don't know if you'll believe me, and I, neither does the world, but I think, the, I think that the relationship between Michael Jackson and Elizabeth Taylor is pure farce. It's, uh, uh, they're, they're using each other to promote each other. And I'm really surprised uh, how uh, Elizabeth Taylor went out of her way to, you know, give more support to Michael. But otherwise, when uh, Elizabeth Taylor was there, there was like, uh, she was there over two weeks, there was only one time that they had dinner together. It's not what Quindoy thinks, it's what he says he saw in the two years that he and his wife worked for Jackson. From the rec room, you can look down towards the jacuzzi, and I was uh, looking out after checking, you know, the rec room, whether the, the maids have... Uh, closed the, uh, you know, blocked the doors and the windows, and I was just checking. And I happened to look out, and there I saw Michael with this kid, whom I will uh, identify as boy number one, you know, and I uh, saw them kissing, you know, in the mouth. And I saw Michael holding this kid and putting his uh, hand inside the um, um, undergarment of the kid. As, and I thought to myself, what the heck is that hand uh, doing there? And I was so embarrassed, I turned back, sat on the sofa for a while, and uh, I looked out again and I saw what they were doing. That this happened for about, uh, probably about a minute, uh, minute and a half, and I decided to get down and get out from the back door, and I went to my apartment, and I told my wife, hey, what I have just seen. And this confirmed our worst uh, suspicions about Michael Jackson. And from Neverland, as Quindoy drove Jackson and a young boy to Santa Barbara, the suspicions were allegedly then confirmed even more. I'd look back and I'd see him, you know, fondling the kid, kissing him all around the face, and holding him around his thighs. Now, on the face of it, Michael Jackson is a philanthropist. I think he's one of the stingiest uh, person I ever met. When there was a uh, labor unrest in the ranch, and people were clamoring for a little raise, and he would ask Fe and I to uh, go uh, uh, try to appease these people by, you know, uh, giving a party for them, like when I would uh, throw a lunch for them to appease them for a while, but then when he could not hold on any longer to appease these people and to solve the labor unrest of the runs, then he gave them a race worth 26 cents an hour. How would Michael Jackson choose his children friends? First qualifications, you have to be white. In the, in the, in so far as we know, there's never been a black kid involved during our time. He loves white kids. This thing about his whiteness, what's that all about? He claimed that he was suffering from a skin disorder, which is uh, in fact called by medical science as vitiligo. That is not true at all because I researched vitiligo myself. And you're supposed to have, uh, uh, one who is a victim of vitiligo is supposed to have uh, uh, white patches all around his body, but not, you know, you're not completely white as you are right now, 
And besides, I know him to be uh, white because he wants to be white because he is bleaching himself. And I know this to be a fact. When we first uh, got employed the ranch, at that time he was brownish, you know, he was like a mulatto. He was beautiful at the time, but probably the medicine, the treatment, uh, uh, overreacted and he's now as white as white. Once again, everybody has to be reminded that Michael Jackson hasn't been charged with a single thing. But if tomorrow's deposition goes as scheduled, the superstar is in for a rough ride. From Manila, Maureen, back to you. Thanks, Steve. And Steve will have more from the Quindors tomorrow. A look at that when we come back. Rose.